News tonight in Deep River, an unbelievable story tonight about a death in Deep River, which according to CBS Boston, then turned into a stabbing spree in the Boston area. Yeah, and tonight the suspect, 26-year-old Jared Revisa, is in custody, we're told. Police in Massachusetts say he stabbed four girls at a movie theater and two people at a McDonald's. Pinpoint news tracker showing how far the alleged crime spree spanned. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Susan Raff live for us in Deep River on Maritone Lane where Revisa was renting a home. Susan. That's right. Jared Revisa was renting this house here in Deep River, and neighbors tell us he drove a Porsche, and that same Porsche was found by police in Massachusetts on that stabbing spree. As for the other man who lives in the house, he was staying here with Revisa. He's believed to have been murdered, and neighbors here say they got to know him pretty well. Nobody deserves what happened to him. You no matter how bad it is your day, you don't do that to somebody. It didn't take neighbors long to figure out who was murdered inside this deep river home. They say two men were renting the home. They had two dogs, and they believe they were also killed. He would come down here, visit us with the poodle. We'd, we'd sit, we'd chat. We talked about, you know, where he was from, where I was from, and... And we got along great for two weeks. It's clear that there's been a murder there. I don't, I don't know much more than that. This neighbor says the other man staying here was 26-year-old Jared Ravaza, who CBS Boston has reported drove to the Boston area after the murder, where he stabbed four girls at a movie theater in Braintree. One call right now, uh, possible stabbing. My oldest was leaned over to get something. He got her in the back, and then my other daughter in the top. Um, chest. Ravaza then drove to a McDonald's in Plymouth where he stabbed two more people. Then, after a police chase, he crashed his Porsche and was arrested in Sandwich. Ravaza is from Martha's Vineyard. One social media site says he was a former professional skier and that his father, Jason Ravaza, is a sports psychologist. Neighbors in Deep River say the men had been in the house for the past two weeks. They described the victim as an older man who was recently divorced and didn't have much money. It is really sad. It's surreal. I mean, it's a human life. You feel, you just don't know how it goes wrong that way. Now, the neighbor you just heard from, he says police called him to identify that Porsche that was used in the stabbing spree. As for the people who live in this neighborhood, all of this has been very unbelievable, and they are still trying to figure out exactly what took place in this house. We are live tonight in Deep River, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Incredible story. Susan, thank you very much.